everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the Queen Amadaj Shakur TV show. I'm your host, Queen Amadaj Shakur. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Please be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time I go live. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Queen Amadaj Shakur. You can also follow the Queen Amadaj Shakur fan page and follow me on Twitter at DGoddess27. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, there is a mother from Yavaldi whose children were inside the school the day of the shooting. And she says that on the day of the shooting, she drove to the school going uh, about 100 miles an hour. When she got there, she says that a marshal immediately started walking up to her car and basically telling her, you know, uh, that she was going to have, she wasn't going to be able to go into the school. And so she says that she was handcuffed. But once they took those handcuffs off, she ran into the school to rescue her two sons. She said, I wasn't allowed. She said, I was told I wasn't allowed to park there. And he says, well, you're going to have to be arrested because you're being very uncooperative. That's what the marshal told her prior to handcuffing her. She said, well, you're going to have to arrest me because I'm going in there. And I'm telling you right now, I don't see none of y'all in there. Y'all are standing here with snipers and y'all are far away. And if you don't go in there, I'm going in. And so that's what she did. And, you know, like I said, after they took the handcuffs off, she rushed into the school. She jumped over a fence, ran into the school and saved her two children, her two sons. I don't blame her. Now, she also talked about how the police, you know, were more aggressive with the parents uh, than they were for the shooter. And that's the same thing I said the day this all happened. We saw the footage of them out there, you know, manhandling some of the parents threatening to arrest them, talk to them all crazy. They didn't have that same energy for the shooter inside. Um, you know, some people have speculated that the police actually stood outside because they were given orders to stand out. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. At the end of the day, whether they were told to stand down or they stood outside because they were cowards, like I suspect, at the end of the day, they're still to blame for many of those children losing their lives. And here's the thing. If they were given the order to stand down, you know, there are rules, policies, laws, and things like that and that are set in place many times. But just because they're set in place doesn't mean that they're ethical or moral. So if you are a person who is, you know, abiding by immoral and unethical laws and practices, you're just as bad as the people who enacted those laws. And at the end of the day, you can sit there and try to justify your own BS by saying, oh, I was just doing my job. But if your job entails allowing many of children to be slaughtered by a killer while you stand outside and twiddle your thumbs, you're just as bad as the killer as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know if they were given the order to stand down. I think they were just scared because, like I said before, the same thing happened at Parkland when they had that school shooting. The officer who was there on the scene, first of all, I believe he was the resource officer. He stayed outside. He didn't bother to go in. That's what he didn't do. And so often these cops are just cowards. Now, I'm not saying all cops are cowards, but some of them are, okay? And uh, they have a whole lot more smoke for people that are unarmed. But so now this woman says she's been, she's been threatened. She says that some cop called her and told her that if she didn't stop running her mouth to the media about her actions as far as going in there and saving her children, that she's going to be arrested for obstruction of justice. That's what she was told. Now, she then later said that a judge spoke to her and commended her for her bravery and told her that she would not face any type of legal consequences or repercussions for just simply telling her story to the media. So that's why she felt more comfortable still talking about it. But the nerve of that cop who threatened her, clearly they're upset because she had the guts to do what they did not. That's all I'm saying, honey. When you, sometimes in life, you have to do what you have to do. Okay, especially when it pertains to your kids. I would have done the same thing. So anyway, with that all been said, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. I mean, this cop sitting there calling to threaten her with arrest. You know, this is absolutely what the cops do, right? You start exposing them. And then they want to try to threaten you to keep you quiet because they don't want everybody talking about what they did or didn't do or what they should have done that they didn't do, right? A same thing happened with uh, when Eric Garner was killed, if you recall, the young man who videotaped the whole incident that went viral. Yeah, they ended up arresting him, and he went to prison for four years. So there's absolutely some of the shady things that they do when you're talking about things they don't want you to discuss, okay? And I'm quite sure the cops are looking and feeling really foolish. I know they're looking foolish, but they're probably feeling even more so 
uh, foolish because Governor Greg Abbott gave them all those praises in the beginning before he had accurate in information, as he said, talking about they ran towards bullets. Ah, uh, please. They did anything but. So, and she also says, uh, Angelie Gomez, that's her on the screen with her two sons. But she also said, you know, that they could have busted out a window. They could have shot through the window. They could have done a myriad of things. But instead, they did absolutely nothing except stand out there and harass the parents who were already frantic. And so anyway, with that all being said, Please like and share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you all again soon.